Hello, Tokyo American Club members. It's Coach Dan here, wishing you the very best and hoping you're staying safe. Um, unfortunately, we can't be on the court together, so I'm here today to go over some ba basketball fundamentals and help you do, show you some drills and things you can do at home, either outside your house or even inside your living room if you're real careful. Okay, so first we always want to start warming up. Okay, so let's put the basketball down and just start 10, 15 seconds, moving your arms, getting your knees up high, and just going high knees. Okay, now let's get a little movement with the high knees. We can move forward a little bit and backwards. So three steps forward, then three steps back to where you started. Knees up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and back to where you start, okay? So continue to build up your energy, get your body moving, build up a little sweat. Now let's go side to side, okay? Knees up, side to side. Okay, really, knees up, you can extend it longer or make it shorter depending on how good of condition you're in. Okay, next, we have no lines on the floor here today, so I'm gonna use a towel. Roll the towel up and just make a line. And here, we can do some quickness and footwork going forward and back first. So forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Okay, keep moving forward and back. Next, turn it sideways and we'll go side to side. Okay, ready? Side, side, side. Quick, quick, stay on your toes, push off your toes, get moving quickly side to side. Okay, next, simple, jumping jacks. Okay, getting the legs moving, getting your heart pumping. Okay, so just open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, simple. Everybody knows jumping jacks. Next, we're going to do a cross jumping jack. Arms straight, legs open. Then close. And see how fast you can do that, okay? So a little mix up with that jumping jack drill. Last one we're going to do is get some movement, okay? And so, if you're in your living room, careful of the lamps, of the plants, and stand in the middle. We call this freelance movement. So try to remember the basketball movements. We have closeout, we have slides, we have pivots, push off your foot, okay? So we have a lot of different moves we can use in a very small space. Ready? Go. Close out. Slide. Close out. Pivot. Pivot. Go. Back pedal. Side. Side. Close out. Back. Ball. Talk. Side. Pivot. Pivot. Whew. Coach is getting tired, so I'll let you do it a little longer than I do. Okay? Whew. Catch your breath. Let's cool down. Take some deep breaths. And then we'll pick up the basketball and start doing some ball handling. Okay. So hopefully a lot of you have a basketball. If you have a basketball, let's start since we've been moving our feet, getting our heart pumping. So let's just start by slapping the ball. Slap it, get the feel for the ball. Okay? The farther apart, if you can control the ball, up, down, side, better. If your hands are smaller than coaches, closer together, but slap. Turn it up and down if you can't hold the ball. If you can, get it moving, okay? Next, fingertips. We'll go back and forth, quick, and start getting some movement in it. Side, forward, around, up, 
And again, you can start off slow and get it quicker until it's only fingertips. Because that's where you get your touch when you shoot the ball and when you dribble the ball. Okay? Now, next, let's get the ball moving around our body. Around your head, around your waist, around your knees. Okay? So we have three and then we're going to figure eights. So try to do about a set of ten going one direction then the other. So let's start all in your left hand going around your head in time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, try not to get it above your head. Go behind. Oh, and coach made a mistake. Go behind and go. Then now let's switch to your right hand and go behind your back and around your waist. Okay. Now, bend your knees. Look forward. If you can, try not to have your head down looking at the ball. And around five, one, two, three, four, five. But some of you may not have a basketball. So you can always use some toilet paper if you found some at the convenience store or at the pharmacy near you. Pick up. Make sure you have tape or a rubber band around the toilet paper so it doesn't go all over the place. But hold it in one hand and go around your head. Toilet paper around your waist, around your knees. And now, last one, let's open up and go forward to back and cross. Quick, 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 and change directions. Oh. Change directions. Ooh, here we go. Oh, keep catching my pants. Catch, catch, catch. Okay, and last one. Put it all together around your head, around your waist. Figure eight around your waist, around your head, around your waist. Figure eight. Okay, so we have a lot of movements, a lot of ball handling we can do in a very small space. Okay, next, if you can go out in front of your house, check around, make sure nobody's around, make sure you can dribble the ball. Again, very small space, but we're going to go through simple dribbling drills that are going to help you get stronger and keep your fundamentals so when we get back on the court here at the Tokyo American Club, you'll be ready to go. First, whenever you're practicing your dribbling, if you can, always start with your weak hand. My weak hand is my left. So the first dribble we're going to do is just a high pound dribble. High pound. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Switch to the right. Pound dribble. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Now, let's bring it lower. I'm just going to do it with my left hand today, so, but make sure, switch from your weak hand to your strong hand. Take it down below your knees. Ten quick dribbles. Ten. Switch to your right. Ten quick dribbles. Now, in front of your body, side to side. Okay? Now, when you do this, make sure your right hand isn't behind your back. Your right hand is ready to play too, just like in a game. Here. Okay, that's quick. You can also do big. Get your body moving. Okay, next. Forward and back, same thing. Back, forward. Okay, back, forward. Hand ready, protecting the ball. Okay. And of course, do it with your right hand and your left hand. Okay. And then have some fun. If you have enough space, right? If you can, try not to look at the basketball, 
But remember, sometimes even the best players have to peek. So look quick. You want to be able to see the court, look around, and use your basketball. You can also do this in a freelance style as well. Moving forward, moving back, pivot, side to side, and get your feet moving and put everything that we've worked on already all together. Great job. So, next, let's talk about shooting. I know everybody loves to shoot, but you always hear Coach Dan say, don't go out and start heaving up those three pointers right away. Because by doing that, you're throwing the ball, you're getting into a lot of bad habits. Today, I'm just gonna give you some simple pointers to really solidify your fundamentals of shooting. So, if you have a basketball, look on your basketball and find the needle hole. Okay, then with your shooting hands, you want your fingers spread, and you want that needle hole between your index and your middle finger. And that gives you a good check when you shoot the ball. Now, some of you still shoot two hands. That's fine, but remember, if you're shooting two hands, you want to almost make a W with your thumbs. They don't have to be touching. Good space, hands under, and remember, fingers are always pointing back towards your body. So here, here, okay, with two hands. Elbows under the ball. So now we have our fingers set here, but what do we do with our hand that we don't use to shoot? We call this our guide hand. Our guide hand, something easy to check is, let's make a T with our thumbs. So first, place your shooting hand with the needle hole between your index and middle finger. Spread your fingers, and then can you see the T? And that's your good shooting form. Okay, now we're gonna do a couple drills that you can do inside or outside as long as you're careful. What we're gonna do first is get a chair, sit down, okay, and just toss the ball up, catch, and secure, okay? That means catch it with your left, bring it back, check your hands, got the T, hands are in good position, okay? Throw it up, catch, secure, get ready to shoot. Okay, we got the T, fingers are spread. If you wanna use the needle hole, use a needle hole for the first few times until you get used to it. Okay, so now we got catch and secure. We can get the ball off the dribble, catch, dribble, catch, secure, quickly into shooting position. Now, we're gonna talk about elbow and good form. I know a lot of you won't have two basketballs at home, but if you have another ball, it doesn't have to be the same size, we're gonna use this ball to put our elbow and our body in good position. We're gonna start, remember we wanna make the L, we're gonna use the ball, put it under your arm, so you're locked into position, so that hand is here, okay? Next, we're going to, oh, sorry. We're gonna put here, one hand shooting. So everyone can see, good elbow, fingers in position. From here, we gotta snap the ball up, okay? The key to this drill is having your elbow and your wrist extend at the same time. So here, okay? If you have a little space, shoot, let the ball bounce, catch it. Lock it in, shoot, let the ball bounce, catch it. If you can, really, if you have more space outside, do it outside so you can really get some high arch on the shot, okay? Next, let's put this other ball down, and we'll start the ball in the middle. Because usually when you catch the ball in a game, 
you don't have it always in shooting position. The ball comes to you, you catch, you look, then you want to shoot the ball. Okay? So, we're going to toss the ball, catch and secure, check your fingers here from your belly, up, and shoot. Okay? Catch, secure, shoot. Catch, secure, shoot. Catch, secure, shoot. Now, I'm doing this in the studio, so I don't have a high ceiling. But what we want to remember is the points of shooting, index finger and middle finger, you want to follow through to your target. Okay? To your target. And next, you have your elbow. When you finish, you don't want to be too far in front. So you don't want your elbow at your nose. You want your elbow at eye level or above so you know you're shooting the ball up on the right trajectory with a good arch to get it into the basket. Okay, guys, I think we're almost out of time. So hopefully next month we'll be able to see you again back on the court. But if not, make sure. Use all these drills. Also, get on the Internet. I know you already are. You probably are better at it than Coach is. So, but check it out. I think the Junior NBA has just put on at-home lessons. They have different players and coaches giving you advice and different drills you can do online from your living room and near your house. So check it out. Keep having fun. Keep staying safe. And when you come back, when the Tokyo American Club is open again, I'll see you out on the basketball court. Bye.